Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 12 of the Full English Podcast. And if you're watching us on the YouTubes, this is episode 4 of the Vidcast. Hey! We've got a great audience here, as you can see, on my right. Oh, the audience? Yeah. <laughs> Participants. But right, that's how he and... sees us. Isn't yeah, it? right, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, um, so I've got Mr. Lee Bradley. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, you have fun? It's without amazing me? without you. Best podcast ever. She's not as good looking as me, though, is she? No, she was, she was uh, no, yeah, Lee Bradley. Check out these boobies. <laughs> uh, and we've, of course, got Mitcha. Miss Mitcha? Mitcha Richard. Mitcha, 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 Mitcha Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Good, we've done sexism and racism no, already. No, no. I was taking the mic out of Dan's Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell, 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 Mitchell. That wasn't what I was going for. I was just like Mitchell. Because uh, it was the, the Witcher, Richard, Mitchell, Walker. Mitchell, Rister. Good, it's good stuff. Walker. Strong. So, yeah, Richard Walker, this is. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. How's your jet lag? Welcome back. Well, oh, to the UK. Away. Oh, thanks. Uh, jet lag's good because I slept on the plane. That's the secret. Sleep all the way through the flight. Come back and you'll be fresh as a daisy. I didn't sleep one minute. I watched her though. It's good, right? It's amazing. Let's review her. Right, the her is amazing. You know that dude in if anybody at home has seen her, that he plays a game that's got like gesture controls in it with the little kid that's oh, yeah, swearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The person that made that game for the film has now got an actual game coming out for mobile devices. What's mobile? Called? What's what's mobile? It's something oh. you carry in your pocket. Mm. What's the game know. called? Do you know? Uh, mountain or something. Mountain. Yeah. Maybe it's not Mountain. Maybe is it, is it The Mountain? It's not based on Game of Thrones. <laughs> Are you no. sure that it's not a, an Apple operating system? No, it's not that either. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd probably fall in love with Scarlett Johansson, even without the visual stimulus. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, it's a really weird concept. It is. Cause it, like, but it is kind of romantic. You believe in their relationship. I did, anyway. You, I, believe, you believe anything, though. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that's the whole idea of a film is suspension of disbelief yeah yeah but it pushes that yeah it's good know, falling in love with your operating system I love Windows 98 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Windows 98 was amazing <laughs> and then Vista came along and that was it yeah. I, I was onto mobile operating systems and fell in love with iOS and, yeah. and then that screwed me I fell in love with Windows Phone and that screwed me and now I've been screwed over my Android so yes. what's next Linux on um, phone? Is this something for her too? Her too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The Windows 98 I'm, edition. I'm going <laughs> to write it. Yeah, you should. Uh, okay, so yeah, welcome back to our actual proper full English pod bidcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, where we're doing normal format, uh, no more pre E3, no more at E3. This is kind of post E3, but yeah. normal format, normal stuff. So uh, we'll start off with our usual. Do you do, do you do the jingle for this one? No, 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 I only do the facts. Really? We haven't got a jingle yeah, for this. Yeah, he's just got facts. So you did the jingle before. No, I definitely <laughs> did not. You sort of did. 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 I did. I did. Oh, what have we been playing? No, it was something like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't yeah. want to do this. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah, E3's gone. Normality mm. has now snuck into our lives. Some call it depressing. And, uh, uh, well, I'm happy. I'm always happy when E3 ends. Really? Yes. Yeah, because it's mental. Yeah, it's but I'm insane. out there in LA and it's sunny. And yeah, and then you go to Las Vegas and yeah, get drunk and gamble for a week. Mm, there is that. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. But then I come back and I have to write and edit for like oh, two weeks. You had weeks. to write like five previews, was it? Eight? <laughs> oh, God. I'm doing all your bloody video 17. editing as well. No, I know. I've got yeah. 13... I, I, ed- yeah, that's fair enough. Dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that was, oh, it's a joke, Richard. Yeah, it's um, so, what have we been playing, Richard? Me? Oh, man. Let's not talk about some of our stuff <sighs> like uh, later on, like yeah. Grid and UFC, because we know you've been playing those. Okay, well, I got home and I immediately threw on Watch Dogs, because I started playing it when I left, and E3 kind of got in the way, and... Uh, so inconsiderate. I know, right. Well, I got most of my previews out of the way during the week when I came back. So the weekend I spent just playing Watch Dogs solidly. And I was pleasantly surprised by how much I've been enjoying it. It's actually really good. It's got its flaws. I mean, deeply flawed in some ways, but so much fun. Would you say 85%? Yeah, I think that's well, the well, great. <laughs> well, you score, no, I, do, I genuinely think yes, that's, boss, that's a... <laughs> that. no, I, do, I do think that's a fair score. I do. And uh, I'm playing the Xbox One version, so it's not as pretty as the other the PS4 version but I'm I'm um, literally like my second playthrough I'm on the Xbox One version and yeah. apart from like 
when you go from the PS4 to the Xbox One, it's a bit of a visual shock to start with. It's like, wow. But you get used to it, right? But uh, it, it doesn't change the game at, at all. No. It's still great fun. Just the water doesn't look as good. <laughs> yeah, but how often do you swim in Watch Dogs? Oh, a lot. Do I do you? laps of the island. Oh, all right. <laughs> go around in circles. I still haven't yeah. played Watch Dogs other than the digital trips. Which I enjoy very much. Well, I think we've established that yeah. in many videos and podcasts. I I've got no great desire to play it either. I didn't at first, yeah. but I just played made it. myself play it and I really enjoyed it. So you should just go for it. I'll get around to it. I only played the Spider Tank digital trip. I haven't done any of this yet. Oh, I've really? been so into the campaign and all the side missions mm. and stuff. I've just been wanting to play those over and over. I'm at 37% without doing... We're doing two main missions. I'm almost at that point as well, if not... I've not done any that. main missions, though. Well, I've done two. Okay, yeah, so I'm... 50. I'm about like halfway through Act 2 now. And I've done every hotspot check-in. I've done every crime... Uh, you know, down like back alleys oh, and really? stuff. Oh, I've done that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I've done all but one of the gang hideouts, and I've done about half of the other stuff. Oh, I've done every single... One of the things you got to collect, so... Oh, God. Hot like spots. The, the, yeah. The privacy hacking. Yeah. The... There's so much stuff. Other stuff. There's so much stuff. <laughs> I, think, I think, in a way, there's too much stuff. It seems kind of... Oh, be, how dare they give you all this content, Richard? No, it seems to be symptomatic of how Ubisoft seem to approach their open-world games. Is right. They make these amazing open-worlds, but then they just pack them full of stuff... Do you think and it's I also don't... a reaction to Assassin's Creed when that first came out? Because yeah, that didn't possibly. have much in it at all, really, did yeah, it? Yeah, possibly. I think it probably is. Like, I mean, you look at Black Flag and how from, say, Assassin's Creed 1 to 2 and then to that and just the amount of stuff you've got, it's just too much. It's right. just... Right. I think they need to just scale it back a little bit. We don't in have to do it. In my personal opinion. No, that's, yeah, you don't have to but do it. We're, but we're achievement whores. Of course we do. <laughs> yeah. Of course we have to do it. No, I disagree. No, no, fine. But I was Because I, I played Assassin's Creed games. That's, that's a lie. I got everything in Assassin's Creed. Every <laughs> sandbox game, I just go after everything. So, no, you're right. Yeah. But I'm doing much Doctor and I'm enjoying it. Even just yeah, going no, around and the privacy stuff is awesome. Yeah, Some it's of it's funny. really cynical as well. Some of it's really dark. Like, and and it's weird. Like cynical, there's dark, there's some great satire in there, yeah. some great comedy. Like the one thing I've seen a couple of crackheads just playing um, and they were crackheads because they <laughs> established that they were high um, oh they yeah. were playing um, yeah, yeah, Russian roulette with, oh, with really? a gun yeah really it's bizarre. like go on go on go on ah! does one of them actually blow no, their head off at the end it's actually if you scan them one of them is a, a rich banker or something because his income's like 70 grand or right, something right, right. and the other one's a prostitute so oh, it's, really? it's <laughs> even darker when you sort of factor that huh. into it did I well. tell you about the thing that Batman's in it yeah, you did, yeah, yeah. And so if you go around, cool. did I tell you this? Oh, well, anyway, I told the, the listeners, viewers, um, mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne is in the game somewhere. Is he really? And it, and it says his name, Bruce Wayne, right. uh, occupation, um, like CEO Bill, or billion. something like that, right, right. Um, <laughs> income, like billions, loads of hoes, and then uh, notes, he's Batman. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> is there not some sort of copyright? thing there. Well, no, it's an Easter egg, right? Well, yeah, so I know it's like a little joke or whatever, but... so you for, no, so, you're getting no, I mean, yeah. for copyright, you, you can put stuff in for parody, so if you do a parody of something, you don't necessarily need the rights of the copy hold, copy, copyright holder. And this is a man with a law degree, so... There you go. So, yeah. I learnt that. Take I learnt that, I did. Um, so that's what you've been playing? Yes, that's what I've been playing mainly, as well as the stuff I've been reviewing. Which we will talk about very shortly. Yeah. Lee? Hello. Hiya. You alright? Yeah, you? Yeah, fine, thanks. I, I don't been, want to know what you've been playing. Uh, so I don't want to know what you've been playing because I know what the answer is. All right. And it's a familiar podcast theme. Oh, jeez. So we'll get to that in a minute. And it will turn up in the best Chivos as well. Yeah, best yeah it will. <laughs> yeah, it will. Um, so other than playing the game of writing a million news posts a day during E3. It's a great game. game. That's no game. That's no game. You're right. Serious business. Did you complete it? I heard you didn't complete it. <laughs> Uh, I heard you completed it, but really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid 3. 3? Yeah. No. The other one. Ground Zero. Ground Zero. I've played that already. Yeah, it's done that. Okay. I've never... Uh, I've never played Metal Gear Solid 3 in anger, if you know what I mean. So I've played it, <laughs> but never more than like half an hour dipping in and out of it. Right. I've solidly put about eight hours into it so far. Oh, how far I know have this. you got? You're playing the HD trilogy, aren't you? Yeah. By starting with three and then working backwards. I'm doing it chronologically. Well, then you should have 
No, yeah, that's right. You, well, Peace Walker would be next then. No, I haven't got that. Oh, well, you've got the Vita because version. Because the Vita version doesn't yeah, have yeah, it. Yeah, Peace Walker. Because you can download it, the PSP version for Vita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they didn't bother what? doing it. Yeah. Oh, but you don't get trophies. Uh, no. No, I suppose you don't, do you? No, you don't. Who don't cares do. about those? Buy it on... Uh, uh, losers. Buy it on your home console. <laughs> and then yeah, you I might on the big screen. I might do. It's well cheap. If why, I ever get through Why are you buying it on Because you had my controller. Oh, OK. <laughs> and my Xbox One was at my mother-in-law's house. OK. So oh, it's okay. all I had. Um, Fair enough. It's a weird game. It's kind of like a vision of where games could have gone. If they'd have been developed in a different way, if they'd have already been developed by Kojima. Well, because yeah. well, yeah, right. Because it it's got so much shit going on in it, and you can you can do everything in a million different ways, and there's a million different controls, and there's a million different. There's just so many options, hardly any of which it explains. Mm-hmm. You just have to work it out. But every game that you play now is like ultra accessible, running around shooting things. It's really easy. You're like there's a a common language that we all use now. Yeah. Is it completely different? And it's the reason that the game is one, kind of really annoying, because it's a bit of a pain in the ass and it can, doesn't control well and it's a bit of a pain. But also amazing because you can discover mental things. So like that boss that I was stuck on. The um, fear. Uh, yeah, the fear. Is that the guy in the tree? The yeah. crazy guy scuttles with around the, with the bolt. Like a little crossbow bolt. Yeah. So he was running around. I tried it about three, four times. And he just kept on shooting me. But so I had a little look, and I spoke to you about it. And yeah. There's loads of different ways that you can yeah. eat. You can like let the food go off in your pocket. That's why I did. I poisoned it. Do you know it. what? I found out about the other one as well. This is not news to anybody that's played it a million years ago. But the next bloke, the other one, the sniper, the old fella. The end. Yeah. If you save the game and don't play it for like two weeks and then start the game again, he's dead of old age. I can't age. believe you only oh, just really? discovered. I didn't this. know that. Really? Know yeah, that. Old I've never really been and into Metal Gear. You can shoot him in a cutscene as well. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't know that either. He, he gets wheeled in on his wheelchair like, in the cutscene and you can snipe him. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's dead. I've never done scene. that. I've, to be fair, yeah, I've only yeah. done it once and it took me ages. Yeah. Well, I mean, I played it originally on PS2 back in the day and I played it again in the HD collection. It's my favourite Metal Gear, I think. It's. Two's mine. Beautiful. No, 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 no. I played some VR missions as well. They were quite Yeah, they're all right. It's like volume. If you don't want to buy volume, just get just there. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid <laughs> HD. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm going to tell Mr. Bethel that. Yeah, don't do that. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I played a little bit of um, uh, Sly Cooper, but not enough to really talk oh, about. Oh, because that was on Plus, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm right. going to get around to that. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Cool. So what I've been, have you been playing, I've been playing Tearaway. Oh, yeah. You didn't like it, though. I don't like it. What is oh. wrong with you? You're... I want reasons. I want them now. <laughs> it's a bit naff. I don't like it. It's too artsy-fartsy for me. It's not artsy. It's, it's too cute. Just I like blood in my games. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like real life. <laughs> you could make paper blood. I just, I just wasn't a fan of it. I don't know. I just felt it was very systemic. It's like, run round, collect this shit. It's the, core, the core of it is, but <laughs> it's, magic. it's got so many inventive, clever little things going it's on. Fuck. She's yeah, using, using the touchpad, which it is the worst invention. She's facing the sand, Dan. Yeah. It's better than that. And there's, I'm on a plane playing it, and I'm like, like, uh, like, people are just walking past, looking at what's What is he's facing the game? Um, Andy Robinson from CVG came past and went, brilliant game. And he went, don't like it. He was like, what, he was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's a good question. What Dan answers. I, d- I don't like it. What just, the fuck is wrong with you? I just think it's, it's basically boring. You're wrong. You're running around collecting stuff, doing jumps, and then using the touchpad at the back. If you yeah. describe any game in those terms, it's going to sound rubbish. No. If you watch dogs, you're just driving around another city. <laughs> yeah. Hacking people. Hacking stuff. And that. Oh, hacking hacking stuff. Them yeah, you press like one button, button to hack it. it. Yeah. yeah, but then... Like moving then, a bridge up a bit. Yeah. I, I'm, that's, that's too cute and fairy la-la. <laughs> well, let's agree that you're entitled to your opinion, but you're wrong. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, on. My opinion is always right. <laughs> no. That's one of the company in rules. In this case, it's wrong. <laughs> Uh, and I've also been playing Persona. So, yeah, there's that. Have you been playing Persona? Yeah, I've been a bit of Persona. Wow. While everyone was vlogging the uh, E3 press conferences, I was laying on the couch playing Persona. Is that what you were doing when yeah. we were working our nuts off? Yeah, he was. Yeah, well, going, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> going I, good, you yeah, could do some news. I was meant to be at the press conference, persona. but I got there and I'm like, what's the point of this? I sit there and then I don't do anything and then I'll go to the next press conference. Might as well go back and help everyone else. I was literally right. And, and then you didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I went <laughs> back and then I was yeah. like, do you need any help? And like, no, everyone was ignoring me, so I was like, I'm going to play Persona. I wasn't ignoring you. Dan. It was literally sent to me just writing the news and Dan going, 98%. 
<laughs> no, it's definitely more, more Scotland than its owners. Uh, we published 70 news stories that day. Yeah. That one day. In excess of 70 news well, stories. that's got to be a record for us, right? It was our... Uh, like, because obviously the, the users... and I, I don't, Are we need to find a, a collective name for users and viewers? Uh, sorry, users, viewers and listeners. And um, fans. Our children. <laughs> uh, Lady, Lady Gaga's got the monsters what are we going to call us Lady Gaga Lady Gaga <laughs> Lady Gaga <laughs> Lady Gaga now he's being racist what are they called the little monsters, monsters yeah, oh, right. monsters. Oh, right. so we're going to call us the uh, well, like Believers yeah. it's Justin Bieber song, Achievers so. no. Ach- Achievers no yeah, but you've got to have trophies as well <laughs> the Achievers and trophies no, Rosarians no. Rosarians Rosarians Sounds a bit too close to Aryans. <laughs> it's the okay. Rosarian race. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's, that's in our business plan. They have red we're eyes. We go in the, uh, the route of... Uh, yeah. Um, what were you going to say, though? <laughs> well, if we're talking about an Aryan race... No, before that. No, before no. we got to sign on this stuff. Jeez. Um, I forgot. <laughs> Excellent. What are we talking about? Oh, we need another collective name. Yeah, but before that. We were talking oh. about what we've been playing, and we were finished. Right? It we're was um, on. it was our like since we changed domain names, we lost a lot of traffic oh. yes. because of the domain name change. Um, that's our best month, third best month ever. Hmm. So considering that we lost all that traffic, we're now getting it all back. People are like, "Oh, there you are. We lost you for six months." Yeah, hey. we kind of dropped off Google a bit, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot. We lost fifty yeah. percent of our Google traffic, yeah. which is a lot, Ouch. considering that we've got. We had four million users. Yeah. So we lost a, a chunk. But yeah, so E three was massively successful. Good. Um, news was accepted and loved across the board. <laughs> um, Good. but everyone did a great job, even me. <laughs> Playing for ninety eight percent. Well yeah. you go no, actually. Did you get them all? So for the nice segue you into uh, the unlock of the week. Oh, okay. Are on. we doing that now? All right. Yeah. Do a jingle. What? Do I do Unlock jingle of the voice? week? No, what are you doing now? Okay. Ah, unlock of the week! It sounds very much like the strange facts jingle. <laughs> it is, yeah, it does. Well, what else can you do for a jingle? Unlock, um, unlock of the week! Unlock, unlock of the week! That's it. Unlock of the week! Oh, what did you get? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Ooh, that's like that it, was right? quite intense, though, when you did yeah, it. Yeah, it scared me. Oh, unlock <laughs> of the week! Uh, so I unlocked the 100% Persona Compendium. Does that mean you're done with it now? And you no, it doesn't. Throw it in the bin? No, I've got one left. But that took ages. And then we can finally stop talking about Persona, no, Persona, Persona 5. No, Persona 5 will be out there. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, actually, Persona 4, Extreme. Whatever. Oh, the Arena Ultimate. Yeah, and then, pads. and then I'll be playing Persona 3DS game. Oh, cute. Well, I'm going to buy a 3DS just by that. Are you really? Genuinely going to buy a 3DS. What's it called? The la- Q, Labyrinth Q, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. I think we, it is. We talk about this every uh, Yeah, we do. We've got to get off this. Uh, we didn't last one. Yeah, People are Persona. If they, and if you haven't played Persona... You, Fuck off. This is the most <laughs> comfortable thing I've ever sat on. I'll just Can I just show them what I'm, I'm no, sitting on? It's a, it's a, a shelf with a piece of glass It's a it. podcast. All right, well, for the benefit of the vidcast viewers, this is what I'm sitting on. Well, We're in London again in a hotel. As you can tell, if yeah. you're watching it. Uh, actually, we're in a hotel. Rich was in the wrong hotel. <laughs> yeah, I went to the our usual haunt. So Rich phones me and he goes, habit. you're not in this hotel, are you? What do you mean? Where are you? I got to the door and I was like, Hold on a sec. <laughs> He's not here, is it? I didn't knock or anything. Shocking. But not on the front door? But no, 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 no. I was at the front of the hotel and it dawned on me. I was like, He's not here. Shocking. <laughs> at least I didn't go in and knock five, room 510. That's a little stranger. Stranger. Okay. It was like, Hey, oh, right, I've been okay. expecting you with one of those little shorty shorts, <laughs> yeah. dressing silk, dressing gowns. So, hey. I'm like, eh, <laughs> Yeah, just, why not? Just the short. The bollocks just <laughs> hanging like, below. Dad, I'm going to be in another 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. well, you can see the bollocks just hanging below <laughs> the, uh, the dressing gown. Are you speaking from experience? Oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> nice. Hey, want to come in? Um, so, yeah, that was my unlock. Rich, what have you unlocked? Uh, okay. Um, Not all of them. Do you know what? what Last time saying? that we did this, both Rich and I were like, oh, I don't know, I didn't really get anything. And I couldn't think of anything good at all. But we forgot to say that we beat uh, the zombie game on PS4. Oh, Dead Nation. Dead Nation. Yeah, that was tough. Completing that. So I'm sure the... we mentioned that. We no, didn't. Because it was emotional, man. That I know, was. it was. We've been through a lot together. Yeah. Totes of mush, man. Uh, at the end of it, I wanted to cry because the final bit of Dead Nation is just relentless. We spent it's two insane. hours, I think, just yeah. trying to do that last level over and over. 
But we did it, guys. It's so satisfying. Unfortunately, this feature isn't called Unlocks of Three Podcast Back. Right. It's called Unlocks okay, of Okay, okay. Go on, Rich. What you got? What did I say? I've been playing again. Watch Dogs. Uh, I haven't really unlocked anything interesting. You can go no. to your review games. Uh, anything good in Grid? Grid? I'm sorry to say the achievement list is a bit. Hear that? The achievement list in Grid you know why is shit. It's just really by the numbers. It's Do you know why, though? Because yeah, we didn't fucking it so do it. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> no, it feels like they just went. No Taylor Swift this, this, references. This, 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 yeah, and just no got it Kanye out. West references. No Kanye West In my no. review, I said they get pun points for calling one so sofa so good for playing split screen game. But that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Um, that there's no Vanessa Carlton reference in there. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did some crazy shit. Didn't yeah. we? <laughs> there's no. Um, what's the film with the car? <laughs> Oh, Vanishing Point. There you go, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that. There's no Vanishing Point vanishing references point, in there. Yeah. But I think we exhausted everything. I yeah, they had nothing researched to just about every driving film, related for film that. that there was for things. You yeah. rinsed your iTunes catalogue yeah. for awful, awful songs. No, no, brilliant. Like That's the only achievement list and trophy list in the, the history of mankind to have a reference to Vanessa Carlton. There you go, and we it, made it. Yeah. You made that one. Can you remember what it was? Yeah, it was Cop, making your way downtown. Yes, it was. <laughs> right, right. Making my way downtown. I, um, I wish I could have been involved with that. <laughs> <laughs> been a, been a nice you had to review it then. Yeah, had to it be wasn't impartial. as exciting as it may seem. No, God, it was no. horribly boring. <laughs> really? Yeah. Right, it's such a, like, can we do this? No. Can we do this? No. Yeah. <laughs> like, we submitted the like the 50 achievements and like 27 of them were like rejected. It couldn't be done. We it's couldn't have, um, we couldn't have even Rocky had a montage because it was apparently... Cop- Rocky Trademark was or trademarked whatever, yeah. and copyrighted, so that's why we had to have even every even Balboa. It was Balboa. We Balboa had a right. Okay. Which had a what? Quite one time. No, it <laughs> no. kind of just takes out the whole joke. Yeah. But we had South Park jokes in there, like instead oh. of the the distance one, we mm. had turn to the left sometimes. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. Did that get cut? That's yeah, that got didn't cut, it? which is really ridiculous. Why? Because they were like they oh, don't they measure corners. Yeah, they can't tell whether you're turning left or not. Because you could just That's go. That's bizarre. Yeah, because if you go like that. Oh, I see. It's like, is that a left turn? Is uh, that a left turn? Is that a left turn? Okay. And literally programming that if it's more than twenty degrees or whatever was too much work. For right. Them. Well, lazy, it, lazy. It wouldn't bother to me if they just snaked for the achievement. That's what people do. Just people do. find shortcuts for achievements. Yeah, yeah. true, true enough. And true. Oh, it was still yeah, a good yeah. list. Yeah, yeah. Still a good it list. Was. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. 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 what was your best unlock? Then? My best unlock. It was probably, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, great to see that everyone's prepared for this. I've got a really good. Right. Right. In okay. USC, recovering from almost being knocked out. That's okay. an achievement. Okay. Iron, okay. iron chin. Rich, next time, like you know, we're doing this. You have all day. No, I knew we had it, but I just... You just didn't care? No, you it's not that I don't care. Our, 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 our it's not I don't care, I just wonder you don't care how about the interesting it is to people. Well, no, because these, these are the kind of guys and girls that play the exact kind of games. I think if I'd want something them. incredible that you was don't know, cause really, really hard to do... Just, you, you no, because I just get frustrated. Get I give up too easily. Exactly. All right, so your best unlock this week is irrelevant. Oops, I apologise. Oh, Dan... On side. I'm going to talk while I stand for yeah, this phone. I got an achievement for shooting a man in the neck. Yeah. The bullet went through his neck. It came out the other side. It went into the mouth or between the eyes. One of the two of the person behind him went through his head and went into the top of the skull of the man behind him. What was that achievement? It's Trophy? Sniper Elite 3. What was it I called? can't remember what it was called. What was it called? It's like three for one, do you have to get? Yeah, three in one shot. Boom, boom, boom. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Was it total accident? Just to wait for him to line up. Was it engineered? There's a bit where, and I kept on dying on it. I died like like three, four times, something like that. And as you turn the corner, they all just happen to line up. I should put it in the achievement guide, actually. They're there, and they all do it, and it's like they made that moment for it. Also, in that bit, there's a barrel next to them, and there's another bloke behind. So you can blow up the barrel, kill four dudes in one, and send them tumbling down the ravine, and you get a Chivo for that as well. Nice. It's got a really good achievement list, actually. Okay. Better than ours. (laughs) Yes. Does it have any Vanessa Carton references? No, but it's it's a a game that lends itself better to achievements. Fuck it down. It's a really good list. It's a good game. I'll talk about it later. Okay, uh, let's let's breeze through some talking points news-wise. Um... New slash. New slash. Um, so yeah, a few talking points uh, this last week or so. Um, this is all on Rich. This is all on you because like I just went through our most read news pieces. Um, They're all ones that you wrote, Rich. Crytek wow. going under. No rise too. What's going on? What are uh, they saying? No samurais. Basically, none of it's kind of been 
properly confirmed. There's no real official word on it. Crytek have been denying it, uh, or at least representatives of the company have. But yeah, basically the reports say that the atmosphere is pretty tense, pretty bad at Crytek at the moment. I read a thing that no one's been paid in. No one's been paid April since, since April. April. Yeah, yeah, which is shocking. Um, or I mean, payments have been late or something. Staff wages. Right. Is this across? The entire company, because well, Crytek is more than so. one I know, company, right? Because there's Crytek USA, there's Crytek UK, there's Germany, Germany, and Crytek Germany. Isn't it Frankfurt or something? There's, there's and Hamburg and yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Right, right, right. So yeah, I mean, it must be a company-wide thing because yeah. they don't specify. Well, that's which mental. They're office. working on loads of games. Two of them were just shown at E3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've only just really announced Homefront Revolution. Really, and they've yeah. only just really announced Hunt Horrors of the oh, Wankers yeah. Age. Yeah. Yeah. Age yeah. Maybe so. everyone's walking out because that's a shit name. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I would walk out. No. <laughs> it's not a great name. We but, should. We yeah. should have that as part of our awards at the end of the year. Shit is name. Oh, name. We should have our, our shit awards at the end of the year. <laughs> shit is name. It would have been better. Shit is name. We get a little trophy of like a turd, a curly turd with a fly hovering above. Well, isn't there something like that in the film industry? Yeah, probably. It's the, the Razzies, isn't it? Razzies, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's cool. that's let's do one for the games right? industry. Um, We're calling yes. them the turds. The turdies. And that's yeah. the terrible, undeniably... Ranker. Rank. And the dire disgusting industry... Show Excellence. <laughs> Show. <laughs> games. <laughs> Just gotta get games and turn. Turdings. 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 Yeah. Um, it would be a terrible shame if Crytek went under. I, I don't know yeah. if they are. I don't know. We don't know. Well, I'm just speculating. Like you said, right? You know, they're saying that Rise Two is probably in the bin. Yeah. yeah which yeah. is a shame because we quite enjoyed Rise Two. Yeah, is that? Uh, yeah. Rise One, even. <laughs> so, right. yeah. Microsoft looks really cash, good. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's hard to judge just from a gameplay demo, but what I saw it. What home front? Uh, the revolution. Yeah, revolution. Yeah. No, it's no, the, it was revolution. the revolution. I know. We were, we I, got there in the end. I was watching the podcast yeah. back, and I was just downloading the channel. Like, yeah, we were like, like, it's revolution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's revolution. It's no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's it's not, not. It's not. It's so, who, who'd call the bloody game the revolution? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, they did. Crytek. They did. Yeah. But yeah, so that's that's weird. That's a shame. And it sounds bad. Let's hope it's not true. Yeah, let's hope it's not. Let's go from the hope it's not true to the. Oh my God, stop being such a dick. Did you see the, the comments <laughs> of uh, Phil Fish? Oh, yeah. Phil Fish, I, he just comes out, trolls people, then goes back in. I think he's all right. Silence. No, it was silence. Like, well, it's, just, a, it's a weird thing to say, though, isn't it? What he said. that What was it? YouTubers should Give a vast proportion of their income. Because uh, his argument is that... PewDiePie, however you pronounce Q- it, PewDiePie. he's yeah. earning four million dollars a year, and like a chunk of that could be from playing his game, and he doesn't get anything out of it. But he it's does. his game. He does get out something out of it though. He gets free promotion. Free promotion, basically, four millions worth of advertising. Yeah. Like, that's like saying that because we write about their games, that they should pay us. Actually, well, yeah, they should, should, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or no, that wait, we, should the them, we should pay yeah, them yeah, to yeah. write about their games. Yeah. Well, it's like... What a ridiculous logic. People who show clips from movies, actually. No, no, that's a really bad example. We've got some... <laughs> yeah. No, but the, the, no, difference between, <laughs> the difference between video games and any other kind of in, like entertainment is that you're crafting your own experience yeah. from somebody's property. Like, yeah. that's... Like, just bec- like, if you went out into Minecraft and you built a castle, they wouldn't own that castle. Yeah. That's true, yeah, and it's... It probably was, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, watching someone play a game wouldn't deter you from then going and playing that game. Exactly, you know I think, watching yeah. I think somebody watch a film. Yeah. If tomorrow yeah, exactly. Ken Levine came out and said that, people wouldn't react as strongly as they do to Phil Fish. Oh, no, they would. Because in their brain, everyone thinks Phil Fish is a dick no, anyway. No, no, because, I mean, if he said something that I'd agree with, then I'd go, oh, fair enough, he's got a point. Yeah, but, but people... He's been a dick. But if Ken Levine says something that you don't agree with, you're like, I don't agree with that, Ken. If Phil no, Fish no, says something no, you don't no, agree I, with, I, you're like, fuck I, you, Phil Fish. I, I'd right be like, God. Levine, or Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Levine, what the fuck are you talking about? Get back to your mobile developer. Don't need phone him. Uh, I'd drop the nut. Oi, Kev. Uh, Oi, Kev, spit in his face. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> <laughs> probably into his eyes. <laughs> wow. Is Phil Fish related <laughs> to Michael Fish in any way? Yeah. Good. Son of a weatherman. <laughs> like, if... 
12 episodes and that's the worst thing I think you've said so far <laughs> and also no well, one's old enough bad. to know Michael, Michael Fish, Fish. Is. he used to be a weatherman he predicted a weatherman a, uh, a weatherman <laughs> he used to be a weatherman in the band and didn't he wrongly predict there'd be no hurricane or something like yes that? sorry this is boring <laughs> it is boring <laughs> carry on why would you bring up Phil Fish Michael Fish <laughs> yeah I meant Michael Fish because <laughs> I thought it'd be funny I was wrong All right, right. this next one's definitely all on Rich because I haven't even read the so story Phil yet so Phil Fish yeah next yeah, one yeah. um GTA Online Heists. What's the deal, Richard? Oh, yeah, it's like a leaked document. Uh, I was looking at it again today and reading some of the comments that the community's made on the site, and it does look a bit dubious in but, retrospect. But these these guys have done it before, right? It's not the first time they've outed a piece of they DLC. They did out the hipster update, yeah, so there's that. And so, a lot. that yeah. seems like a lot of thought to put into. Oh, hoops. yeah, no, I mean... I do agree with people that a lot of people said that isn't what I expected yeah. from heists and yeah. that isn't what I expected. Tell me what from it is because I don't know what it is. Well, okay, it's a leaked <laughs> from leaked. The same as a single player. No, 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 no. No, it's leaked documents and there's a couple of these missions in this list that you know you think yeah they sound like good heists. But then the others are kind of missions that could be anything. But they're, they're more like co-op scenarios. Yeah. but oh. that can be played in multiplayer. Like oh. you're, you're the police chasing down this thing. There's actually some stuff like that actually already in there's there. There's one where it's like a bank heist and there's four robbers in and the vault. 16 cops. 16 cops. And that right. doesn't seem right. Is that, the, wait, there's wait, also wait. one where you like rappel down a building that you go there in a helicopter. Yeah, so that sounds cool. rappel down a building. That sounds right. like it's from the campaign though, that, that mission. Oh yeah, it's the same right. building as well, isn't it? Yeah, Pretty it's much. the FIB building. But... Yeah, maybe if the cops versus robbers one is 16 AI cops, that would be a different story. No, but if it's it 16 more... real players, that's No, they're, they're getting in the way. They're getting away the way of one another. I don't know. I I, but, but what about all the, the planning and the, the... Well, this is it as well. There's no mention of that. Yeah, yeah. which is what I would believed Heist was going to be. That's, what, that's what's exciting about it. Yeah. But we've got to bear in mind that none of this has been verified yet, so... No, I'm going to do that well thing that Dan said he's going to do to Ken Levine to the really? houses. <laughs> yeah. and spit in their eyes and rub it in their face, etc. Et etc. Et no, carry on. Just I forgot going. what the rest was. Burn them, set them on fire. All of, all of that stuff. We uh, don't condone this kind of behaviour. Well, no, but it's a joke, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean... Just for the viewers at home, just in case. You know, <laughs> we don't condone this kind of behaviour. So, uh, Listeners. Be good. Listeners Re and Re viewers. Rosarians. That's for the vidcast and for the listeners. Rosarians. Rosarians. Yeah, because we're going to take over the world. Um, but only if you've got blonde hair uh, terrible yeah so uh, okay uh, do we believe it um, we're video game journalists of, we just publish partly. stuff without even thinking about it yeah I believe it I believe it everything on NeoGAF is true I believe that <laughs> I think not that but I believe <laughs> the GTA Online thing it's probably true but I think there's probably more to it than just that document suggests well, what, I what hope. was the news piece today that was uh, that, wasn't it? Oh, ten verified jobs. Nothing to do with that? No, no, no. They've just added more jobs to the... To okay. The, yeah. All right. So uh, let's just troll Microsoft for the last couple of minutes of the news segment. Microsoft okay. defends cross-gen. Yeah, I did this. So the I think it was Spencer said that he feels that the company owes owners of the Xbox 360 because it's still selling really well, it's still selling millions and there's a bazillion of them out there. Or okay. Whatever it is, 70, 80 million. He right. feels that... He needs to ensure that games are made for the platform. They're prioritising Xbox One. They're not prioritising Xbox One. Are That's they? what he says. I'll do that. Air quotes. Prioritising. He's prioritising Xbox One, but they feel that they've got to get stuff on there. Well, it so makes it's, it makes good business sense to do that, doesn't he? You know doesn't what? I'm just going to sell my Xbox One and then buy a new one in about three years, and they decide to start developing games. Do you know the truth? I, we were sat here earlier watching Dan edit a, an interview for Borderlands the pre-sequel, and I said to him. I like Borderlands, but I'm not going to play that game. Because as snooty as it might sound, I want to play next-gen stuff. Um, well, I bought next-gen to play next-gen. I didn't buy next-gen to then go back and set my Xbox 360 again. Exactly. Because We've the Xbox all spent One like 800 back. quid or whatever. Buying the two consoles, yeah. Yeah, no. So, yeah, I get what you're saying, but it's not what I want. I think it's not what most people want. Mm. Like you say, you've shelled out for if you're buying console. a 360 you know it's an old piece of tech you're paying 100 quid for it if you're buying an Xbox One you're paying 400 quid for it if you buy mm -hmm. an Xbox 360 now you're not buying it for shit that's going to come out no. later you're thinking there's loads of great games that I can exactly. get double cheap on exactly. this 
yeah, yeah, no, you're right. So I think I think Spencer can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Um, but is no, it, it's just it, it's frustrating because I want more next gen. I know we're getting a load towards the end of the year, but right. it's still cross gen. Right. And it's like I feel that I look at Dragon Age as cross gen, right? I yeah. can tell that's cross gen. You but can you, tell, yeah. But you look at The Witcher, that's not cross gen, right? Yeah, no, no, it's not. And you no, can tell amazing. that's not crushed. Well, look at Evolve. Evolve. And the that fact that awesome I had to well. ask as well. Yeah. It's not, it's not. <laughs> and you know it isn't. It's not. Well, Evolve <laughs> looks amazing. That's not cross gen. And basically, all the not cross gen games look. Inquisition. Well, look at Rise and Killzone. They're already out. They're good examples. Yeah. Inquisition yeah. looks like a great game, and I'm probably going to love it. But it looks like a mid gen game. So it's between last gen and this gen. Mm. It doesn't look like they've taken it and just ramped it up to 11. I asked Bungie about developing for the four consoles and the way they've been doing it is every week or couple of weeks they have a new build. They get all four side by side and try and have them looking as close to each other as possible. Because Yeah, that's what I want. I want my Xbox One yeah. version to look like my We PS3 talked about version. this before though. At GDC they did a talk about their animation techniques right. and they can only make it so good because imagine they can only make it so good because the Xbox 360 and the PS3 can can only manage two steps behind. Right. So it does hold them back. Whatever anybody says, it does hold games back visually. Not that that's everything, but still. It's most of it though, right? Would be nice to yeah. have prettier games. Uh, that's why I'm excited for Assassin's Creed Unity, actually. Because I saw that running up close and... Yeah, that, that wild me really the first good. time I saw that trailer. Yeah, well, I got to see it like being played live and it, I was like alright yeah no I was impressed it's like a uh, I got to see it uh, played live up close I, I was this far from it. I was like I could see that I haven't seen it at all don't even remember the trailer it's got a trailer do you know they can yeah, have up, like to, up to 5,000 non-playable characters in the crowd on screen at one time wow 5,000 wow. do, do we run that as a news piece no, it's that's, in the preview though. Oh, it's okay. in the preview. That's quite interesting though. That's the kind of yeah. fact that you need to cherry pick and throw. Well, it's in the preview. <laughs> the <laughs> live <laughs> editorial meeting. All right, yeah. All right then. News. There's five thousand <laughs> people in the crowd in Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna Google that. If nobody else is coming. <laughs> news. All right, let's because we, we've waffled again. Uh, let's try and do the next bit in thirty minutes. All right, uh, okay. Rich, new Pez. Pez. Awesome. Uh, uh, Smoke probably. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Valiant Hearts. Awesome. <laughs> Grid? You spat a little bit. I did. You did it earlier, I didn't mention did I? it, Rich. He's so. been doing it all day. <laughs> Literally, I've got my side of my face. It's like, as soon it's as like, I mentioned spit, when you enunciate, Kevin. you spit. It's like the acting thing in Friends. <laughs> New Pez, what's it looking like? It looks good. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by how smooth and nice it looks, and the player likeness is very nice. And it How's it play? Very well. The shooting's meant to be a lot better, right? Yes. Uh, I feel like passing plays better. Much. I scored a goal. <laughs> <laughs> I scored That's a goal. you brought right. up that goal. You're really proud of that goal. No, right? yeah. he's done it with I... me as well. He's brought it up with you. No, we were on Skype. He was talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because usually... The you said, I bet you lost, didn't you? And he went, well, I scored a goal. Because yeah. <laughs> the Konami PR, he doesn't like pull hold any back. punches. He doesn't hold back. Um so yeah, I'm quite proud that I got a goal. I never <laughs> so win. The first, I, the last time I saw a Pez game, uh, whatever show, uh, was two thousand what six seven. Really? And it Jeez. was uh, Gamescom. No, Games Convention that would have in been Leipzig. Pez six then. That would have been like the first Pez on yeah, probably, Xbox probably. 360. Um, and I played Steve. Hammered him. Absolutely oh, really? hammered oh, right. him. Like five nil. Like yeah. Yeah. That's the Konami PR that you were yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. Hammered him yeah. five nil. Then I send Rich. I think I've uh, never beaten him. No, he's never beaten him in <laughs> six years. <laughs> you need day. to practice. You One just day. need to sit there and play. Four years. Don't exaggerate. Four years. It's more than that. No, it's been four years. It's my fourth E three. But what about Gamescoms? I don't think we do Pez at Gamescom. Do yeah, we? we do. Do we? Yeah, you lose there as well. Yeah, all right then. Oh, Abraham's might have lost it. No, Abraham's. Yeah, Last I was going to say I'm sure. Well, no, you've do done Konami. it. Man. I never do Konami. Well, you'll lose there as well. Yeah, great. Okay. <laughs> so the pairs are looking good. Uh, let's yeah. let's talk about new releases. Um, Sniper Elite. Sniper Elite. Sum it up Elite in seven words. Three. Seven. Jeez. I shot lots of men in face. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, give us an opinion on whether it's good or bad in nine words. <laughs> It is very good in seven words. <laughs> no, what? can I talk normally, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, it's not particularly sophisticated. It's arguably pretty repetitive. 
but shooting people and watching bullets go through their skull and then their brain and then out the back of their head is the most fun. It's really, really good fun. And it doesn't get boring. I'm slightly worried. <laughs> no, I promise you, if you play it, because you can skip those x-ray kill cam things. You can just press a button. Why would you do that? And you, you, but I must have pulled off thousands of them through the course of the campaign. I just think I maybe skipped level, right? about three. <laughs> yeah, I did that. This, so this is the worst thing about the game. When you are in the big open environments and you're hunting people, it's great. There's some little... The stealth's weird, but let's not get into mm. that. The <laughs> most annoying bits are when you have to fight a vehicle because they each have like vulnerability points, weak points. And the ones at the front, if you get it right, it goes through the little slit in the front, it goes into the cockpit of the tank, and it goes into the mouth of the driver of the tank. Is it going to their mouth every time? Yeah, every but time. Are they by the slit just going, ah? <laughs> yeah. Mouth open, yeah. just insert bullet here. Yeah. But it's so insanely difficult to pull off. In fact, for two hours, I was trying to do it, and I didn't realise that it was actually a bug that was just not recognising that I was uh, shooting it at all. But even when it's not bugging out, it was so annoying, the yeah. most annoying thing. So those bits are shit, the rest of it's really fun. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Was that when we were talking to you on Skype? Seven out of hundred. Yeah, that's the one stuck. I was playing. Was, like the only uh, was that the only time you were stuck? No, no, come on. Uh, well, yeah, but the, the night before as well, no. I got stuck on that bit. That's when the bug happened. Right, okay. That's annoying. Yeah, Maybe they'll patch it. Well, there's that massive day one Did you download that? Patch. 10 gig, I right? I downloaded everything it told me to download. Was it a 10 gig patch when you I did it? It took a million years to install, <laughs> so maybe. I'm really not sure. Yeah, okay. Awesome. So, yeah, buy it when it's cheap, yeah? Yeah, once it gets down to 20 quid, get on it. Which is $30. That'd be, that'd be a while. Yeah, but what's the rush? I kind of want to play it now. Well, well I'm, I'll lend it you, don't worry about it. Cheers. <laughs> um, okay, so let's move, let's... let's Kind of alternate here. Grid. Mm. Shit achievement list. Is the review up now? It is, yeah, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Last night, yeah. I had to turn that around super fast, but I, I did it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, no, it's it's good. It's kind of a return to old Send grid it. sensibilities. Yeah, is not, it good? I personally didn't enjoy it as much as Grid 2. Right. I actually really liked Grid 2. But that's the thing, right? That... You enjoyed Grid 2 because it was more accessible. Yeah. Whereas the hardcore fans didn't like exactly. it because it was accessible. Yeah. And then Grid Autosport is back to it being a little bit more hardcore simmy. Well, so yeah. all the hardcore fans love it, while all the accessible people like yourself don't love it as well, much. Well, it seems that a lot of people were maligning the fact that the cockpit mm. cam had gone. So that's back. So, yay, whatever. I've never used the cockpit cam anyway. But I like Grid 2 because it kind of tread that fine line between being realistic without being too difficult. Whereas Grid Autosport, I tried playing it on easy and I was still struggling. I was scraping really? out like ninth and eighth and stuff. And mm. you know, I was really trying hard. I'm not terribly shit at racing games. I'm not amazing, but I'm not that bad. Yeah. And you make mistakes, you can still flash back. So... So what you're saying is that because the achievement list is terrible, it's not as good a game. Because <laughs> we didn't make the achievement list, yeah, nobody much, should buy pretty it. Much, pretty much. All right, good. Yeah. But no, I gave it an eight because I can still see that it's, you know... For good, racing fans. For racing that, fans, they're going to love it. And Grid 1 fans. And Grid 1 fans, yeah, yeah. I mean, I liked Grid 1 as well, but not as much as Grid 2. That's just my personal opinion. At the yeah. end of the day, that's what a review is, so... <laughs> <laughs> you were defensive Wow. About it. Oh, I'm just saying. Shit, man. Where I'm covering all my bases. <laughs> Wow, we're not, we're, not putting you, we're not putting you on trial here. What you basically wow. just said was, if you like it, you're going to like it, and if you don't like it, you're not going to like it. <laughs> That's about and it. Don't blame me. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. so let's move on from that swiftly. Uh, Valiant Heart is mm. the opposite of Sniper Elite Three, whereas Sniper Elite Three revels in shooting people into horrible, bloody little splinters. They'll and deserve puddles. it, though, right? <laughs> they're all baddies yeah who cares yeah. I don't really, it doesn't really matter but, but they've all got kids oh you do you know shoot you... their testicles did you find that out yeah you can shoot their testicles does it cut away can you see the little it certainly does <laughs> do you know what the weird thing is though when it does it it shows you the close up of their balls yeah um, but they're weirdly spaced apart really they're like a good two inches apart yeah each you know what right? I mean, like they've like got one that. in each leg <laughs> <laughs> Um, I yeah. want the next game. I want you to be able to go up their dick hole. A <laughs> 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 
That's what I want. <laughs> it's slang. <laughs> it's acceptable. Um, <laughs> why? Why would you say that? Why not? <laughs> Imagine you could. You could. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna stop now. <laughs> you okay. wouldn't buy that. Come on. Well, where else can they go? <laughs> Back of the box, now with dick holes. <laughs> <laughs> or if they're bent over, they go straight at the anus, right? And out and their mouth. Out the head. <laughs> out the top of the head. Um, <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Valiant Hearts, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing like that. No, it's a, it's an adventure game with a really nice art style. Um, really kind of quite easy puzzles. Um, but it's got a really nice tone and quite a nice story mm. and you kind of get involved with the characters and he's quite sad in places. Yeah. Did you um, cry? No, I got I welled up a bit towards the end. Oh, okay. Also, I can say this without spoiling anything, mm. in the post credits or mid credits sequence it suggests that they're gonna make another one oh. based on World War Two, because Valiant Hearts is based on the events First of one. World War One. World War World War One. I asked Ubisoft about it and they weren't willing to comment. Oh, come on. But the suggestion's there anyway. Did, so you, run that, did you run that story? This is another editorial meeting. No, I didn't run it. If it hints on it. I didn't know how to write it without spoiling stuff. Could we capture the video a bit? Or that no, that because spoil then it, you'll it? know what character's mm. still alive or okay. not. Or maybe they're all alive or not. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, See, this is why I didn't write the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll write the story. Just give me a screenshot. Right. Cut that little bit out. <laughs> Actually, um, don't. Yeah, so it's good. I very much enjoyed it. I gave it 9 out of 10, which is the most I've given a game in ages. Is it worth £12 slash $15? Yeah, for sure. How it, long did you play it for? It was like a good... Between eight and ten hours. Really? Okay. That's good it's value. pretty long. It's good value. I think Maybe near eight and it. ten. But it's good. Down. It's good. Great story, nice little puzzles. What more can you ask for? Yes. Nine out of ten. Buy it now. Mm. It's available. Excellent. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about you. So you haven't played that much, have you? Or have you? Uh, yeah, I was up till 4 a.m. last night. So you have played? It. Yeah, yeah. I made my guy. He <laughs> vaguely resembles me. Uh, and <laughs> that's, he, that's a scary thought. Uh, you go through the training in the career, and then you have a few fights, and it's hard as nails. Did you play the THQ ones back yeah, in the yeah. day? Yeah, yeah. I was quite good at those. Yeah. This how, one. how does it compare? Did you play this... EA Sports MMA back in the day? No, I didn't actually. Yeah. Uh, it's... More detailed. Yeah. It looks incredible. But it's last gen, right? Huh? Is it last gen? No, this is Is it next gen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Purely ne- next gen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not cross gen at all. Um but I just find it really hard. The controls are intuitive and they make sense, they're logical the way they're laid out. Right. But when you get taken to ground, struggling out of that can be frustrating. Right. And I just, I've never liked the ground game in UFC games anyway. I just like the standing, just punching each other in the face. And it doesn't seem you to work. You want to play Streets of Rage? <laughs> yeah, that's my favourite game of all time. <laughs> Streets of Rage 2, genuinely is. Oh, really? Yeah, I love that's it. It's a shit game. Oh, it's a great oh, game. What? Streets of Rage 2 is brilliant. Trying to see how he reacts. Tear away now. No, I, I like Rage. Streets of Rage 2. Streets of Rage 2 is awesome. I wanted to but, see how he reacts. Yeah, no, I like, I like the standing game. I like all that. And yeah, in the career, I'm. Um, Two fighters in. I'm on my third fight now, and I'm struggling already. Have you seen the glitches video? Yes, I watched it today. It's hilarious. It's brilliant. The glitches are amazing. I want to see them. I want glitches in my game. Like yeah. that. There's one where John Jones, uh, his feet are out at right angles, oh, yeah, and his yeah. hands, and he's just going on the floor, just spasming. I don't it's know UFC that well, but the one where the guy's just doing flips in the air. That's yeah, Alexander Gustafsson. There you go. I know because I'm you playing the game. Because yeah, I'm playing UFC, doesn't he? Well, he doesn't need anything else, does he? So he just watches sports. No, sports. I don't. He's <laughs> no. watching sports. Also, oh. just so everyone's aware, the USA Germany game is on right now, and I'm missing it because of you lot. This is how much we love you, but we can, by the time we finish, we'll catch the last five, ten minutes. So, all right, woo. let's round um, it up. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, it's, it's, it's only 25 past six, so there's another 20 minutes left. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We've, got, we've got another 10 and minutes. Stoppage time, don't right. yeah, uh, And right. stoppage time. And we want to kick off on time because they're Germans and they never do anything on time. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so. <laughs> I thought it was the opposite. I thought they did always do everything. So, do you have an inkling for score yet? Or um, is this too early to tell? I'm thinking at the moment seven, maybe. Out of 100. Yeah, <laughs> 70, 70, I'm thinking. Because, I don't know, the difficulty just seems too steep. I'm playing on normal and I'm struggling 
two fights in. That shouldn't be. This is the a case. theme today, Rich. That you suck at video games. Good Pez. But I was good at the THQ one, so what gives? You know. You and I've been to old. training. You're getting old. Every, maybe my wits aren't what they used to be. Your Wait, reactions so are going. There's just going to be a decline in scores. Of games <laughs> I'm sure I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Five. He's two. only ever going to really like, yeah. review turn based yeah, strategy that's games. That's it. Turn based strategy games, which you'll still fuck up. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll oh, give him Valiant Hearts too. I'm terrible um, at. I'm terrible at uh, RTSs. What else? Uh, like earlier Final Fantasy games, yeah, if they get sure. re-released yeah. again, again, again. I think, uh, I'll play those, sure, sure. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. All right. Yeah, right. yeah so uh, that's it. Woo, the show's over. No, is we it? Don't no, it isn't. Oh, no, I need to find time. my facts. It's video game fat time. Oh, yeah. Mine's can on my can phone. you do the... Uh, so is mine. Oh, video game facts. That's a bit weird, isn't it? All right. All right. I like that. Um, Cheers. Who's going to go first? Um, Lee? Yeah, all right. Hang on. This is all in my brain, podcast listeners. Uh, You're winking to podcast <laughs> listeners. No, to the camera. You yeah, ruined but, it. But you said. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready to have your mind blown? Go on, blow my mind. Homefront, the Crytek developed no. shooting game. No, very chaos. Topical. Chaos. Yeah, whatever. You're the right, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, yeah. Very yes. topical. Homefront came out in 2011, and as we know, it's based on Korea taking over the US. But did you know that the game successfully predicted both the year of King Kim Jong Il's death and the North Korean nuclear test in 2013, meaning that by 2025, America is screwed. Is that when they invade? Yeah, in the game, that's when they invade. Should, yeah. um, should America start building, like, forts and getting guns and shit? Yeah, they together. should trip wires around the perimeter yeah. of the yeah. country. <laughs> <laughs> no, good. No, all that, all that good stuff. You, um, you've you been warned. You've got 10, 11 years to sort it out. Yeah, get your trip wires <laughs> sorted. Yeah. Get some food in. Turrets. Turrets as well, they're yeah, good. That's, uh, that's interesting. Century, century this turrets. is quite interesting, right? <laughs> this is another kind of uh, horrible... Type is this another thing. terrorism one? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but this is this is weird. Mine, mine's really nice and cheerful. <laughs> no, this is really weird, right? In the original Deus Ex, um, I'm reading this off here because, yeah, I can't remember it. Players can run around Liberty Island, but the two towers, the World Trade Center towers, are missing from the skyline, which caused complaints. And the designer Harvey Smith explained that they'd been destroyed by terrorists <gasps> within the. Context of the game. And, and when did Deus Ex come out? This predated 9 11 by over a year. Blimey. So, so what you're saying is. Is that Harvey Smith is involved <laughs> in this? <laughs> wow, that's weird, a isn't it? Bin Laden in disguise. It's just very strange, is all. I think he should be in Guantanamo right now <laughs> yeah. in an orange jumpsuit yeah. explaining his. No, I've met Harvey Smith, he's a lovely chap. You just said he's a terrorist. Hitler no, was no, nice no. to his dog. Oh, you don't shoot Hitler at the end of Sniper Elite. Oh, what? There's no Hitler at all. That. Oh, is, is, oh. Is he DLC? He is DLC. Or his look-alike or something. No, isn't that Charlie Brooker? <laughs> yeah. There's a Charlie Brooker. Yeah, you is, can yeah. shoot Charlie Brooker. He's, he's DLC. He's pre-order only. Really? He's just a character that wanders around. I don't he think he's should, That's a bit harsh. No, he, he loves he it. He wanted to be in the game. Hi, Charlie. Do you want to come on our game so we can pop your face no, up? No, that's what you want. He, no, he likes yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, he's he a big fan. All right, so my video game for that is... Yes. In, in honour of Sonic the Hedgehog's 23rd birthday... Did you know that there's a gene in the human body that is named after Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah. Oh, are you? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Leading. Sorry. Leading. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> what is that gene? Just don't well, say the Sonic is it gene. The Sonic, gene. Sonic Hedgehog is one of the three <laughs> proteins in the mammalian signaling pathway family called Hedgehog. The others being Desert Hedgehog and Indian Hedgehog. SHH, Sonic the Hedgehog. He's the best studied ligand of the hedgehog signaling pathway. It plays a key role in regulating vertebrate organ genosis, genesis, uh, such a... <laughs> can, they, can they have called the other ones like Amy Rose and Shadow and Tails? Uh, Indian Knuck hedgehog. The knuckles gene. Yeah, instead of that. I like Indian hedgehog. What is an Indian hedgehog? It's a hedgehog from India. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and Don't desert hedgehog is a hedgehog from the desert. I'm just imagining Sonic with like... Like the paint and the the, the desert camo, and, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. kind of bit of a ghillie suit action. How did you know that? I read it on that article we were going to. <laughs> the video game fact. This is a brand new one. Yeah. Like, did you know that uh, 
that the PS1 was originally a Nintendo console. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. already tried to list as well. Yeah. Yeah. I know all the video game facts. Now. This is a new one. <laughs> From that one, one list. For, for anybody that's listening or watching that doesn't know that originally the PS1 was a Nintendo console because they got Sony to develop yep. the tech for it. And then they said, you know what, fuck it, we'll, we'll make the 64 and we'll watch that flop. And Sony were like, okay, we'll make the it PS1. Flop? Pretty much did. Well, my next door neighbour had one. <laughs> he really liked it. What, an N64? <laughs> yeah. The N64 no, didn't it's sell all... amazing. No, either. but it was... Wasn't it the GameCube that relatively flopped? Oh, yeah, might have been. Maybe. Oh, and that was the GameCube was the PS1 era, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, sorry, the it's N64 way yeah. was... No, GameCube was PS2 era. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was because it was like Resi 4 and Resi Remake and all that kind of stuff. Was it? Yeah. I'm confused. I don't know mm, nothing about PS2. Nintendo. No. I had a GameCube. I still have my GameCube under Nintendo my side. I was a Sega person. My GameCube's one of my favourite design consoles. Just a nice, satisfying little cube. <laughs> no, Nintendo consoles always look like toys. Yeah, They're but deliberately this one looks plasticky nice. and shit. Yeah, but this one's just nice. It's a little cube. And yeah. It has little discs and you pop the little discs in. Oh, the little discs. It has a little button you and you pop the disc in. All right, so yeah. winner of best so, facts. Me. Who's your money on? What's yours? No, okay. The, the two towers. The no. Three mm. Day SX. Mm. Day SX predicting the... It's down to terrorism. Mm, yeah. It's always down to terrorism. I mean, yours is kind of scary. I haven't won in ages. Can I get a sympathy with yeah, you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, 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 thanks. Yay! Right, we asked for questions from the audience. It was very last minute. Oh, wait, do you know what? Did I'm going to do a shout-out first to Twiggy Glover. I hope I haven't got your name wrong, mate. That's right, Twiggy. Who says that um, he was listening to... He listened to the podcast so much... Oh. That he thinks in British now. He's Australian, I think. That's yeah, brilliant. he is. And he introduced the podcast to his miss- missus, and now she thinks in British too. And she so, doesn't like video games, but she enjoyed our podcast. If Excellent. this helps Twiggy's missus, Rich is now going to do an Australian voice. Oh, God. So. G'day, g'day, mate. Uh, I'll put another shrimp on the barley. Uh, I'm, I'm from Sydney. See, I... I used to be quite proud of my Aussie accent and then I had an Aussie housemate for a while and I tried doing the accent to impress her and it was terrible. I thought she was Italian. No, 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 this is before her. All oh, right, go on, yeah. do it. People think that I'm Australian anyway. Yeah, sometimes. they do in America, sometimes they think that. Oh, yeah, reason. no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What do you want me to say? Just, just a sentence. Uh, say, so, hello, say hello to Twiggy's wife. Hello, Twiggy. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this latest version of the podcast. And... Uh, that sounds more South African. And, uh, it started that, strong. It, was it did, and, and then it uh, went to South African. I can't do it at all. So and, uh, yeah, I'm try. And, uh, uh, thanks for choosing, uh, tuning in. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Nice. Right. Thanks. Questions. What have uh, we got? Right. South Africans more more like it. I'm going to start off with the first one from Joe Carter, which is Angel SK on Twitter. Hello, Joe. Hello. Can you do podcasts more frequently? <laughs> uh, we, we should, please, right? I yeah. love listening to the you guys. The trouble is, it all oh, depends nice. on Dan coming to London and yeah. getting drunk in the evening. So it's his fault. No, I came down to teach you video editing today. And what are you doing tonight? Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you not here for an event? Uh, no, I came down because I need him to do video editing because uh, I've got too much to do. So look out for some really poorly edited videos in the <laughs> they future. They will get better, I you promise you. You did your Valiant Hearts one, that was good. No, no I didn't. I didn't. I gave him too many fruit out of the window. <laughs> oh. And I redid it completely. Oh, right, okay. Um, but I taught him the basics on a better piece of software. Um, so we can go from there uh, and hopefully... We'll see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a long and winding... But yeah, we'd like to do more podcasts. <laughs> yeah, we, we will would. endeavour to do so. But yes, Joe, that the plan is that eventually I will move down to London before the end of the year, hopefully. Uh, so then we'll do them weekly and they'll be waffly... From start to finish. Well, if we do them weekly, we're just going to run out of things to say to each other. Oh, yeah, that's we're right. Just, and just hate will gradually grow between us. <laughs> I think that process has already started. <laughs> I've been working with you two for far too long. And like Four years, five vid- years? Vidcast episode eight will be like us punching each other in the face. <laughs> if you want to see that, send your emails to uh, rich.walker.com. I'm already thinking I could, like, get these curtains and just wrap them around. In... Like a turban? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to put a turban on me? I don't know. Um, I'm only joking. How long have you been working? S- s- five years? Five years, yeah. And you're four, right? Yeah. yeah That's yeah. depressing. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Half a decade. It's all right. Life. When you when you reach 35, uh, I have to get rid of you and replace you with young blood. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just maturing like a fine wine. I'm getting better and better with age. Yeah. Bonks. Not Not at games. Next question. Right. Jared Z, Dark Lurker 23 on Twitter. Hello, Lurker. Hello. Uh, Jared. Local G'day Jared. Jared, how you uh, doing mate? Are you still playing 
Well, there's three games. Do one by one. one. A. Titanfall. No. 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 I would like to start playing again, though. It's it's weird, because it came at a time, and I had loads of free time, and then yeah. MCM came, E3 came, so I probably will go back through it. When's the Expedition out? It's out. Is it out now? I would buy the season pass for that game if I could guarantee that there'd always be a bunch of people around to play it with, because I don't want to play it I, I will get the, the DLC and play more, okay. but I mean, I've got Watch Dogs I want to do, I want to finish. But we haven't done. played it in a month or so, See, right? I've, I've not played a game in a month properly. No, I haven't. Oh. I would have bought the Rise season pass as well if I thought it was worth it. It wasn't. For, it, was like it wasn't. No, it but wasn't. it's like 12 new maps or something. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, shit. Shit. it's the same yeah. stuff, yeah, though. But... If it was single-player DLC, I've not actually played the single-player three. You haven't, have you? No, I watched you and I thought, oh, this is quite good. Mm-hmm. No, it's um, right. But no, I will go back to Titanfall. Yeah. I'm fairly sure of that. No, I will at some point. But yeah, no, I haven't played it in ages. B, have you even played Titanfall? No. What? Well then, that you've got to get involved. Then. Yeah, that's that's like there we go. Be illegal. There's our excuse. There's our end. I've been really busy. To get back on oh, piss it. off. I have. I've been so busy playing Metal Gear Solid Three from <laughs> two thousand three. <laughs> yeah, but you have a fucking controller for weeks. You have got an Xbox? No, I told you it's my mother-in-law's. It's a long way away. I what took you, it around. You've been playing Sniper on. Oh, I went and got it back. <laughs> <laughs> so you have got it. <laughs> Lies. Um. Watch Dogs. No, we've talked about Watch Dogs. Yeah, I'm still playing. No, I'm not. But Rich I will is be. still playing. Yeah, yeah, and I will play that through to the end because I, I, I love it. I really do like it. I'm, uh, I'm going to say it. I really love it. <laughs> it's really good. All right. See, so, Killer Instinct. No. No. I downloaded Spinal and I played for a bit with him and unlocked a bunch of Chivos and then Fulgore came out. Played with him twice and I was like, don't know, he's all right. Do you know what? Um, this yeah. kind of question, I hope we're asked that kind of question next time when we've had time to actually play some shit. Because it's yeah, just been crazy for everyone, time. right? Yeah. yeah. UFC is my last review for the foreseeable future. I've got to do a little gameplay previews from all the, the stuff we've got from E3. So that'll be basically take us for the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, what about Hurricane? There was another question, wasn't there? From Hurricane? Yes, good old Hurricane. What's Hurricane's real name? Do we Phil. Know? Phil. Phil. Did you know Phil. about Hurricane yet? No. I wasn't at that event that day. I was Titan on holiday or something. Yeah. You were always on holiday. That's not true. Uh, wh- where were you with the first MCM? S- not Cyprus. Tunisia. Tun- thank you. <laughs> and you didn't visit the Star Wars set. I'm pretty sure we've mentioned this before, but I'm saying it again. I didn't leave the beach. You ashamed of yourself. I just had servants bringing me drinks. Who goes time. to Tunisia? What self-respecting person goes to Tunisia and doesn't visit the Star Wars set? My missus hasn't even seen it. She hates anything. I'm going to be able to drag her Get out. out. <laughs> yeah, leave. Right, Hurricane asks, when is not Dan going to fight me at Street Fighter 4? Why not Dan? I don't know. I assume you meant, when is Dan going to fight me at Street Fighter 4? Well, maybe you're, not, you're no good at Street Fighter 4, are you? I can, I could beat you. No, you could I could. No, no you could You couldn't beat my Sagat. No way. My Sagat's amazing. Oh, okay. I've, got, nah. I've got the most amazing button mashing skills <laughs> right. ever. This is what we're going to do. We're going to... Go to Sheffield. We're going to set it up. We're going to Twitch stream. We've been trying to do this a little for tourney. ages. No, we should do it, or do it at my house. I was going to say you're not coming to my house. <laughs> yeah, or do it at my house. Whatever. Um. Yeah. All right. Email us or tweet us or something if you want to see that and place your bet. If we get more than nine thousand tweets, then we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. But yeah, the, the camera's flashing at me, so I assume we're running out of tape. Um. Shall I look? So do no, look? it's all right. Uh. We're pretty close on the timer anyway, I assume. Um, Battery now. <laughs> there you go. So we're at 103, which is pretty much where we usually stop. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's been episode 12. It's good to be back. Episode 12, uh, the podcast. Yes. Episode, episode 4. 4 of the podcast. I don't um, think we've got to stop doing that. Why? we just four. got to say welcome to the new thing. Hello. 12-4. No, because people like to find out where they are. Do they? In the grand scheme of things. So, previously on episode 12-4. Should we call it 12.4? We we could call it that. 12.4, 13.5, 16.4. Dan doesn't like tear away. Uh, But yeah, okay. Uh, We better go before this just cuts off automatically. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Richard. You are most welcome. Thank you, Lee. You are also welcome. Or Bradley. We're going to go and watch the football Go on. I don't, we don't know. No, we don't know. I don't know who we're for. USA. The, the United States, States of America. America. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, Bradley. Baldy Bradley. 
Okay. The USA. All right. Um, but thank you for joining us, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. See ya. Bye. Au revoir.